I just want to say thank you and thank you again. Thank you for subscribing to this channel for the 766 people that have subscribed so far. As at the time of recording this video, I want to say a big thank you to you for finding this content beneficial and supporting by subscribing and liking the video and sharing to everybody that shares the link that is supporting this channel in any little way that you do that. By watching this video, you're actually supporting. So your views mean a lot to me, your likes mean a lot, your comments mean a lot. Everything that you've done to support this channel, I want to say thank you. This is my appreciation post to tell you I am grateful for you. I'm grateful for you in 2023. You've been supportive in this journey. As of January, I was at about 800 subscribers or so. Then from that time till now, about 600 and something of you have joined up in this channel. And that is not a, a feat for me to say, oh, I, it's not much. I want to thank you. And I really pray that God blesses you. I pray that the content that is released on this channel will be a blessing to you continuously and that God will use it to transform your life. And I pray for you this ending of the year. I do not really know what is your burden. I do not really know what you are praying to God for. But I ask that God hears your prayer. I pray you come to the realistic knowledge that God hears your voice and he loves your authenticity and he loves to hear you speak your heart to him because that is where he wants you. He wants this deep relationship with you and this relationship that he wants with you cannot be accomplished unless you are authentic. God cannot bless the pretense prayer points you bring to him that is not from your heart. God wants you to tell him your heart. Yeah, you can tell him you are disappointed. And then let him speak to you. Let him inform you through his word, through maybe a video you're going to watch, wherever you watch it, through a sermon you're going to hear. He is going to speak to you through anything. So God loves you. And I appreciate you for sticking by, for keeping on watching the videos and everything. I just wanted to come here and just say thank you for rocking with OM. And let me give you this bonus today. I was thinking about this at the time of recording this video that there are pillars to a healthy relationship. And I consider these five things as the pillars to a healthy relationship. So I hope that it's beneficial to you. Now, the pillar number one is authenticity. And I will explain it in short. Pillar number two is vulnerability. Pillar number three is honesty. Pillar number four is openness and pillar number five is transparency now all of these look like they are similar but they are not the same the fact is that authenticity in simple words just means be yourself be you and i know that this could be taken in in, in a negative light that some people would just be like this is just who i am this is just who i am but truly some we have been affected by trauma by our environment by the things we've been exposed to the abuse that most of us have gone through and molestation and all of those things have affected us. The things we saw growing up has affected us. So that is not you. Don't claim that that is you when it is a negative, a toxic you. Being yourself means get to recover yourself. Get to find you. Become authentic. That love that is in you, that, that beautiful soul that you have is what you need to dust off and be authentically you in your relationship. That could be in your marriage. That could be in your relationship when you, if you're dating as a, as a single Christian. That could be in your partnership with people. Just be you. Because the aspect of not being you will make you either people please or just be a narcissist, an annoying person. Now, number two is vulnerability. If you want to build a deep, intimate relationship with anybody at all, you need to be vulnerable. Because by the time you are you, you don't know how to pretend. You don't know how to tell lies. You just want to tell the person as it is. And telling somebody like it is, as a Christian, you need to know one thing that is about speaking the truth in love. So vulnerability, in later video, if this is blessing you, we can go deep on all of these things. The third one, like I said, is honesty. Be an honest person. Don't be a liar. Number four is openness. Once you're honest, honesty means somebody comes to you and ask you a question and you answer honestly. You answer them honestly. But now openness takes it deeper that 
once you're honest about it, you even open, tell the person more than they bargained for, more than they wanted to hear because this is the person you love, this is the person you want to intimate with, this is the person you are in relationship with, so you can open up to them and tell them more. Now, the fifth pillar is transparency and this one is different from honesty and openness because this one says, you will not need to ask me about it. If I know it's going to pose as a trouble, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to bring myself to you openly and tell you about it and tell you about these things. Tell you about this person that I talked to and my heart started going to the, towards the person. Before it goes wrong, I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to come up open. So thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for always following. God bless you. God keep you. God make you see 2024 alive and well. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you. I am Uwem Akpan. If you are yet to subscribe, please do subscribe. There are so much amazing things that are waiting in 2024. And I would like to rock with you. <laughs> Bye.